Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're still working on our snake game. So we have the basic HTML interface uh, created, or the markup, I guess. Um, so now what we need to do is style it, use CSS to make this look like this. All right, so let's go ahead and our HTML should be all set. So let's open up the CSS file. All right, so we will, we're not gonna do any, uh, we're not gonna include a reset or normalized file or anything like that. It's a very simple design. So we'll just have a few uh, CSS properties to style. All right, so let's start with the body. All right, so for the body, we're gonna give it a background. And the background's gonna be an image, but we wanna first make it black. We want the image over the black background. All right, and then we'll say URL. The name of the image is background.jpg, and it's right in the same file with our CSS, so we don't need to include any folders. That's gonna be set to no repeat. And we're gonna make it top and center. All right, and then the font, We'll say font family, we're just gonna put in Arial. All right, so that's it for the body. Next, let's do the links. Okay, so all links on the page uh, are gonna be white. So color and white, and then text decoration. I don't want any underlines, so we'll set this to none. All right, and now we can do that. The elements we created all right so we have a container actually this is a class so we need a, a dot here all right so the container is going to have margin um, we'll say the top will be 30 pixels and then on the sides we want auto we want it to be in the middle okay so bottom zero and top right Top right, bottom left. All right, so the left is also gonna be auto. Okay, and let's make a width of 600 pixels. And we wanna set the overflow to auto and the position to relative. All right, so let's see if that made any difference. All right, so there's our background image. Uh, we have the overlay here, which we haven't hid yet. And then we have the reset button down here. All right, so let's continue on. The next thing, uh, let's just make the canvas black. All right, so actually up here, I'm gonna put it canvas. And I'm gonna make the background is gonna be black. And let's do a white border, one pixels. Um, one pixel white solid. All right. All right, so there's our canvas. Let's actually make the border a light gray. And then we want to create the stats area, which is this area right here. Okay, so let's see. Stats. And we're gonna make a, a width, just about the same width as the canvas, uh, minus 10 pixels for padding and stuff, so 590. And we're going to give it a background of gray, kind of a dark gray. Actually, no, we're going to do the threes. And then give it padding of five pixels. And the font size will be 20 pixels. And then we'll give it a font weight of bold. We want to make sure that the color of the, 
the text is white. And a margin at the bottom of five pixels. And then finally, we're going to set the overflow to auto. Okay, so let's see what that gives us. All right, so basically just gives us the padding, gives us the background. Um, the two score areas, these are going to be generated um, through our JavaScript. Um, but the next thing I want to do is the score div, which will be this here. Okay, so let's go back here. And it has an ID of score, I believe. Let's just double check that. Yep, so this is what we're styling right here. Okay, so score. And it's going to have a width of 25%. And a height of 50 pixels. And we're going to do some padding on the top, 20 pixels. And float. I'm going to float the score to the left. And give it a margin right of just 5 pixels. And then overflow auto. Background will be black. And we're going to align it to the center. Okay. And we're basically going to do the same thing with the high score div. Alright, so. And you know what? I was going to make a whole separate div for the high score but it's it's gonna have all the same properties so I'm just gonna give this I'm gonna make them both score divs and that would make me want to change this to a class as well since there's more than one okay so that would be the class score change this to a dot alright so now let's do the button the reset button Actually, let's check it out first. Okay, so they're blank right now, which is fine. Uh, let's get this button a little bigger and we'll float it over here. All right, so let's see. The ID is reset score. And this is a button. We're going to give it 10 pixels padding. And let's float it to the right of the score uh, score blocks and that that's it really for the for the reset button all right so what's next all right so now the overlay we have it up here all right so we don't want this to show uh, when we visit you know when we first come to the page we only want it to show when um, when the user dies or loses it should pop up all right, so the first thing we want to do is just hide that. So we'll say overlay. And we'll set it to display none. Okay, so that should make it disappear. All right. Actually, let's um, do that last just so we can see it. All right, so let's do a color. So the text will be white. And the font size, font size will be 25. And we want it in the center. Okay, now this, we want it in the middle here. All right, so what we'd have to do is position it absolute, which means um, it can be anywhere we say, and it's not, it doesn't need to be relative to the rest of the elements. So what we did was the canvas, was it the canvas? We positioned something relative. Okay, so the container is, is positioned relative. 
So that means we can put it anywhere in the container we want by using uh, just pixels. All right, so the amount of pixels from the right, from the from the top. Okay, so you want to make sure that your container has a uh, relative positioning. All right, so down here we are going to say position absolute and then we want it from the top we want 170 pixels and then from the left we want 180 pixels okay so that, that should be good let's uh, check that out all right so what we want to do next is the click to play again link style that a little bit give it a background color so we can target that with um, overlay A because it's the only link. And we first want to make sure it's displayed as a block. Um, we'll add a little bit of margin to the top. And padding 10 pixels. And then we want to give it a background. Background will be gray. And then we want we want it to have a hover effect as well. So overlay a hover. And what I'm going to do is just change the background. I'm going to change it to a darker gray, almost black. All right. So if we save it and we go ahead and reload, that looks a lot better. Okay, you can see it has that hover effect. The score isn't going to show right now, as well as these scores, because they'll be generated by the actual script. So it looks like our interface is complete. Now we just need to basically add the brain to it, which would be the JavaScript.